Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here on the Let's Play World. In the previous episode we built this little dye shop and a wither skeleton or wither rose farm to help us get some more black dye. And also we decorated this alleyway a bit more and we added this little building. The idea is with this building is to create a candle shop so it's still empty and I might actually stock it today because I've got a few things planned. The first thing I want to do is just improve everything. So for you that's been a, yeah, a long time, I usually fly up to a start portal and what I did is I actually went ahead and created an opening here. So I will close this up and decorate all of this. So this area currently runs all the way up here, comes out over here into this open field. Up there is the portal to the starter island and I also created this portal that comes out on the tree cutting island. So I think for my first little time lapse, I'm going to see if I can't fix this area up a bit. So sit back, relax and enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> And progress has been made. It's been quite a while between those two cuts. So let me show you what I did. I made this transition a bit smoother. I so long added the columns where I want them. And then I texturized this whole area and did like a wall and the floor and these giant mushrooms. And I think it absolutely looks epic. This is the first time I'm doing it texturing using these kind of blocks and not the traditional stone and stuff like I did in the city but I really think it came out nice this area I just tidied up for now I might do a little house or something up here to hide this portal but this place looks so good through the years where we have the tree island where we grow all our trees so I just made like a little cabin and storage areas for where the woodcutters will put their supplies and wood and stuff like that before transporting it down to the city so I do think all of this came out really nice. Um, I do really do like it. I was inspired to create something with the nether box by a new YouTuber I found recently. He's an amazing guy. His um, name's Tim Be Nice. I will link his channel down in the description. Go check him out. Give him a like. Give him a follow. And well, tell him where you guys came from. Tell him Dio sent you. So... That's this for this area. I'm going to head back down to base, sort out a few things, and then we can get started on the next project. So I'm back. It's the following day, and we have some great news. As you guys can see, replay mods just been released, so we've got that function back, and I hope to be making a lot more use of it. But for now, let's quickly get into what's happening here. So I went ahead and cleared out this area, removed some of our crops. And what I want to do is create like a little entryway and a grass or moss area with some dirt and stuff and flowers. And have little partitions, say this area for honeycomb and this area for honey bottles. Um, I don't think I'm going to use a lot of honey bottles, so I don't need a lot of them. I might even squish them into something like this. And then cover this whole thing with logs and make it look like we're inside of a tree or forest or something. So I'm going to start just by laying out the floor and work on that. And as we progress, I'll keep on bringing you guys back. So let's get started with this. So the moss flooring is in and I did some lighting. So let's just cover those up. So I think it looks fun. I don't know if I will go just moss or maybe just add a few patches of dirt along the side. Just make it looks like, look like it's a bit more worn. Maybe yeah, in the, by the entrance of the beehives. I actually think that breaks up the green a bit better. So 
So that's also something we can look at. Yeah, I think that looks that looks good. I think it makes gives it a bit of a texture. So it's not just a flat green. So let's texture the rest of that. So now it's part time for the logs and I roughly lined up where I would like the logs to go. Ooh, that's a bit too deep. So anything about the efficiency is the instant mine in the nether. So let's do two like that. Let's do this one and this one. So idea is to do something like this and then maybe as we go up we'll do one there and then start to narrow it out as it goes to the top. Just to give it a bit of depth and I might even add like smaller little parts just doing this, protruding like that. So I'm gonna quickly do some more of that. Okay, so all the wooden logs are in the floors in and I also went ahead and opened up these areas where the redstone will go and inserted the rail system that will constantly run down here. So next step here is to just create the canopy which will form the last part of this. So I was thinking just doing some azalea leaves just draping from the ceiling just in this fashion almost the same as what we did on the end of farm and then just getting it all in here and everything. I will have to go around the outsides of this later on just to hide some of the netherrack if it shows too much. But that's the feeling here. Yeah. And as soon as we have some what you, the spore blossoms, I will put some of them up there as well. So I was thinking just doing something like that. that that's another normal one. Let's see, flowering azalea. Did I not pick up any flowering azalea leaves? Oh, there we go, that last one. So let's take this one out, maybe doing like a flowering, flowering azalea every now and then. Just to bring in that pop of color. So I'm gonna quickly do the rest of the roof. So I think this is starting to look real good. So bringing it all together, tying it all in, add maybe a bit more flowers and you don't see too much of the netherrack po poking through. So yeah, half to go. So from the outside it still looks pretty bad and we'll get around to that nearing the end of the video but for now we head in here we'll have to do it quick and this is what the roof looks like i think it looks perfect i'll add some flowers as soon as the bees are in that area I closed up for now because i first want to just start producing some honeycombs so for the beehives the beehive will be sitting on this block over here so we need to do this because we need to have observers looking at those beehives and then do a second row of observers on top of these we need to have observers looking into these and then we need to get back out here and over here we have observers running straight into our dispensers which will then dispense our shears ensuring that the honeycomb gets what you call it snip when or cut whenever it's ready see you heard that one here we go i don't know if this design has been done by someone it most probably has but that is how i'm going to manage this one and that will be more or less the same one just with honey bottles and whenever it gets shared it drops on the grass and the mine god picks it up so i'm going to see if i can get some bees in here so this whole area is done and i've decided to turn these into a honeycomb for now as well and i added this little guardrail so bees can't come in and out if i'm not mistaken so we can start by placing these hives and the reason why I don't want the bees to come out is I'll show you just now. We use a client side mod, well, we, I use a client side mod called Mini Hut. So I can actually look at a hive and see this one has three bees in. This one has three bees in. So all three of those have three bees. This one has two bees. This one has three. This one has two. So we need two more babies. Three more babies. 
So we need to breed the bees three times to ensure that all these hives are full. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got all the bees, and I'm just going to grab the flowers and just create three babies. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that should be all the bees. And they'll actually start gathering the pollen, and they'll get pollen from everything, from the flowers, even from the flowering azalea leaves. So let's quickly see. That little guy should get some pollen now. I first thought it was a bug and they couldn't move, but they actually get pollen from the flowering leaves as well, which is quite a nice feature. And there he goes. So they'll slowly start making honeycombs and the minecart will collect it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to fix up this facade. So to do that, I think I'm going to ro roll a time lapse. So sit back, enjoy as we create something awesome. And it's done. Let's quickly fly in and see what this tree looks like. Oh my, from this angle it already looks so good. This thing's huge. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I will, between the episodes, connect it to the back, terraform this rock face a bit, add a bit more cliffs and stuff. On this side I actually want to do some form of a house where the honeycombs and honey will go into. And then I might even change some of this out for some of the moss block. So while we were building, we actually got a ton of wax. That's like three, what, well, that's more than three and a half stacks. So this bee farm's actually pump, pumping out honey at a good rate. So it must be night now. So what I will do is I think I will add the honey bottles maybe on one of the other sides. So. I'm quickly going to clear out the inventory and just see if I can maybe do a proper setup for the minecart and then maybe clear, change out this and I'll be And that's it. The floor has been done. I think it looks quite nice with the moss and the dirt texture running throughout. We kept some of that. We closed up this area and just did the basics of the wall. So it still needs texturing. That still needs to get treatment. But I think it looks quite good. I like the whole transition and this is what's been going on so it's quite pro effective so i'm going to take three of those three stacks that is and as you can see the bees are still going at it there was a little bug earlier where the bees didn't want to come out again so i'll just keep my eye on that make sure it's not a thing but for now i think this can be seen as almost finished so we are running out of time and before that happens i would like to take you along and craft our first candle so let's do this let's craft three stacks of candles and then i also decided to make three different colors for now and just place them around so there we go our first candles so let's do some black candles over here and we can even add some over here let's do some 
gray on this wall. And the last color is dark gray. And let's just grab our flint and steel. I think it's over here. Just see what it looks like. This is such a cool block they added. I, I thought it died, but it's just in the distance. That looks so cool. Well, guys, sadly, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And let me know down in the comments. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> let me know down in the comments. What did you think about the tree? What do you think about the never and um, terraforming? What do you... Yeah, just let me know what's your favorite part. And then I will catch you guys in the next episode. Oh, also remember, go check out the new series. It's a creative build series. And I'll just do quick time-lapse builds and a little bit of intro. See you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.